Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday, March 5th, 2020. Uh, went out today for a little bit, had uh, breakfast with my kids, and uh, but I get home and this package was here. <laughs> and this is something that you just set on the wood stove and it does it just by the heat, it, it rotates the fan. So uh, a friend of mine sent this to me and so I was just teasing him. I said, oh, thanks for that. I said, because it's not hot enough in my house as it is right now, which I think is kind of funny. It's kind of like a joke, but uh, that will help circulate the heat around a little bit more, which is a good thing. Um, I do have some plans of what I'm going to do to heat the greenhouse, and that may feed right into that. So I will uh, definitely, uh, yeah, I'll utilize it, obviously, but I was just like, I was like, oh my God, we have drama. We have drama over in Chickenville. So anyway, uh, not a bad day today. The sun has been out. It is in the low 40s. And so we are having another day where things are melting, which is a great thing. So last night, per taking my own advice, uh, after I did my live stream, I had some things that I wanted to do. And so I actually went out last night late and did some running around. Uh, I did stop at... Uh, uh, where did I stop? Oh, I stopped at Wegmans, which is one of the grocery stores uh, in, not that far from here. And uh, so that's about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes away. And so I stopped in there. I did take some pictures, which I will post on the Facebook page. Uh, the toilet paper, basically almost all gone. Uh, the Let's see, the hand sanitizer was pretty much almost out as well. And uh, I believe, I think the other picture was the bleach as well, was really, really down. So I, uh, I'll post those pictures later today on uh, my Prepper Nurse One uh, Facebook page. So, But one of the things that I've been looking to add more to, and I'm going to show you these here, the rechargeable uh, batteries, okay? Really important, I think, to have is the rechargeable batteries because if you have some kind of a power source, no matter what it may be, uh, to be able to recharge batteries to use for flashlights, to use for headlamps, or whatever the case may be. Uh, I think these are awesome to have. So uh, I actually picked up four. There's the other three right there. Four more packs of those. Um, they didn't have, if they'd have had C's and D's and um, AAA's, I would have picked them up as well. That's all they had uh, for the rechargeables. Because when I buy batteries now, I only buy the rechargeables because of having my own solar source. Uh, it's a great way to be able to recharge, recharge many, many times instead of having 10 tons of batteries that I don't need. So, uh, but I, I do have rechargeable batteries already, but I just want, I wanted to definitely have more. It's one of the things that I think is important to have, again, for that emergency type of situation. So, uh, everything is melting, which is pretty good. And uh, the water is actually down today from where it was yesterday which is also good, which I knew would happen. I mean, you have the initial runoff that happens, and we get a lot of water, and it's standing water for a couple days, and, and then it's gone. But we still have, as you can see, there's still more snow to melt off, and even up in the hills, there's more snow up in the hills. Uh, if you go down to town, they have no snow. It's all gone. All the snow is gone in town. So it's just, uh, you know, because we're the higher elevation, it uh, definitely... You know, it takes longer, but that's okay. That happens. So, uh, anyway, just uh, want to talk about a couple of things today. You know, continuing to see things in the news and seeing what's going on. And I saw something today that really, it was just like, you know, uh, I think it was a gaffe, if, if you will. And, I, and I, I'll put it down as a gaffe. So the president gets on there today, and they just came out the other day. And it was funny, too, because the day before I had said it, and then they, you know, came out again and said it officially. Now, again, they're, what, the, what they're saying is the official death rate from the virus is 3.4% right now, okay? Um, I honestly, personally believe that it is much, much higher than that, okay? So the president gets on there today. And 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 and, and I and I love this because, like I said, this is this is just a, a, a to me it's just a complete gaff. He says on a hunch, his hunch is that the numbers are not correct; that they're actually much lower. They're actually down about one percent. Well, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense um, from the numbers that we've been given, uh, you know, at all. Uh, I believe that the death rate, in my opinion, is much much higher. 
and that's not on a hunch, that's just on the fact that everything's being underreported, we're not being given all the information, and all that type of stuff. There's Mr. Abel. Uh, now that the weather's warming up, the cats are definitely out more, which is a good thing. But, uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's where... That's, uh, you know, when he said that, I was like, oh, come on now. That's not a, that's not a good call. <laughs> so, um, but what are you going to do? So, like I said, time will tell where things pan out, where things go. Uh, I think, like I said, I think a lot of mistakes have been had in this whole uh, fiasco, if you will, so far. And uh, I think we've got a long way to go with things. But, uh, so, are you on guard there, Caesar? I like the way you're standing on the stump. Yes. Yeah. And there's Miss Pandora. So, today, the chickens. Uh, let's talk about them real quick. So, I got back and I checked uh, probably 2 o'clock. So, I will be checking again just to make sure there's not any more. But today, so far, we've had 11 eggs. So, they definitely uh, picked up today. But again, like I said, you can see... It's been, it's pretty nice uh, out there today. It's pretty decent. So, and we got more kitties. There's Miss Molly and Mr. Buddy over there. So, but, uh, and then Abel's over there. But, oh, oh, <laughs> see, okay, so uh, I, I, I don't know if you caught that or not. Uh, Foghorn Leghorn was trying to get a little something something. And Goliath, of course, is the boss of everything, and he's not going to have uh, Foghorn Leghorn jump in any of the girls. So he's he always jumps in there and stops them if he tries. So very interesting. And poor Foghorn Leghorn just, you know, he wants to be a man. And uh, But what are you going to do? It's uh, <laughs> it, This is a, a constant thing that goes on with these guys. It's a game. You know, unfortunately, it's what they, what they do. So, but... Uh, so anyway, uh, what was I going to tell you guys? Um, I just want to remind people again, uh, for communications-wise, if people are looking to connect with like-minded people, you can go to my website at prepperners1.com. Uh, you would click on the PN1 community, and uh, you have to sign up to be able to join. It doesn't cost anything. I had somebody last night on my channel, and this was like, I was like, you got to be kidding me. So they and, and I know they were doing it to try to cause trouble or to try to scare people away from going to the community. So this is why I'm bringing it up because I just deleted the comment to be honest with you. But I would never engage this person because they were being a, a jerk. Uh, they were like, "Well, geez, if it's free, why did I have to use, give my credit card information to join?" You don't. There's no. You're not asking for your credit card information at all um, when it comes to joining the PN1 community. Like I said, it is totally free. It does not cost anything. Um, there's never going to be a cost. We do it privately so that everybody and their brother doesn't come in there and act like an idiot. Uh, so that's why you have to be registered because it is monitored by myself and Mike, my IT guy. And uh, so, you know, that's that's why, okay? But it's a great place to connect with like-minded people. Um, if you just want to read the message boards, if you just, you know, want to read comments or whatever, it's a nice place for that. If you're looking to connect with like-minded people in your area to network or to try to form a group or whatever, that is also a good place to, you know, meet like-minded people in your area. Um, again, if you meet with anybody, that's at your own discretion, of course. Um, so just putting that out there as well. But, uh... So that's that's what that was all about. Um, I did want to mention a couple people had asked, you know, because I had netting over the whole area of the chicken run, okay? Uh, with the snows, when the snows came and we had the issues, I did take that all down because uh, it was just, it was a mess. Um, and so that's, I took that all down. It, it all fell down and it was bad. So I took that all off. Uh, what I'll probably do, I'm gonna, I may do like a wire mesh or something because I will definitely encase uh, where the birds are because I don't want aerial predators to get them um, any more than I want any other kind of predator to get them. So, and the puppy's job, and they know it, is to protect the chickens. They like the chickens, and uh, they're the... Are you a friend of the chicken, Caesar? Are you? Are you a friend of the chickens? Yes, a good boy. Look at the tail going. Are you a good boy? Huh? Are you friendly, are you friendly with the chickens? Yeah, and there's Miss Pandora. Yes. Heaven forbid that I give Caesar attention. So, but anyway, guys, um... Also, we still do have the legacy food on my website as well. If you are interested, um, you know, 
you can you can order it there it is going to be a delay and i've talked about that 30 to 50 days like if you order right now today you're looking at at least a month if not um you know six weeks before your order would you know you would get your food okay but the sooner you're on a list the sooner your food gets to you so if you are interested please again go over to my website preppernurse1.com uh, you know, check, um, cl click on a store, it drops down, you'll see the Legacy Food, and you can order it right there, okay? And it also helps support the channel and helps support what we do here as well. Um, like I said, it, the Legacy Food is the largest portion size on the market, and, it, you know, it's really good. I have it myself. I've done reviews on it. If you want to go check the reviews that we've done on it, um, it is, I would never recommend anything that I will not use myself, and I do have it in my preps as well, okay? So... Anyway, so that's what's going on with that. Um, this here, guys, all this water and stuff, within a couple of days, it'll probably all be gone. Uh, you know, the rest of that snow over there will melt. Uh, you know, there's, like I said, we got quite a bit of snow still up in the hills here. So um, a few more days of decent weather, and those will melt off. And uh, a lot of melting happened today, a lot of it. Like this whole path now, you know, this part is cleared, which is nice. It's, it's a nice change to see. But it's just going to take some time, uh, you know. And then, like I said, as soon as we get things dried out here a little bit, we will get rocking on what we're doing here at the homestead. And uh, I'm actually looking really forward to it because I'm ready to get really rocking this year. Um, and again, we don't know how much time we're going to have. We don't know what's going to happen with this whole virus thing. So, again, you have to continue to live your life as though things are going to be normal. And, uh, you know, you can't put your life on hold and live in fear, okay? So until we get a clear-cut picture and it says, holy crap, this is what really is going on because the government's been lying to us the whole time, or if everything is mellows out and it's okay. Uh, you know, we're just going to continue to do what we do and continue to push forward, and, and ha I have plans that I want to do, and I'm going to continue to work on those. So that's what's happening here today. That's what we're working on. And uh, so that's it. So I hope everybody's doing well. And, uh, you know, guys, hang in there and, you know, just uh, live your lives the best you can at this point. Continue to get ready. Um, I do believe that we need to prepare to shelter in place. I think that's really important as well. So uh, just focus on just taking care of what you can have control to take care of. Again, if you're going shopping, per my advice, either do it early or do it late when people are not around. You do not want to be around crowds. Uh, try to avoid crowds if you possibly can. That's important, okay? So anyway, I will talk to you all later. Um, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to accomplish, whatever you are trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.